Hi everyone, we're here at the Cedia 2019 show. My company is A Audio Imports. I'm the owner, Brian Ackerman. We're based out of Colorado. And what we do is we import exotic high-end two-channel audio from all over the world. We, we bring in products from mainly Europe. We have a beautiful speaker line here called Wilson Benish. It's an English company and they, they make a whole series of carbon fiber speakers. They, uh, they make a special subwoofer here with a carbon fiber membrane in here. It's very light, very fast, and it'll integrate in with any, any speaker system. The electronics we have from Greece, a multi-format D to A converter, and a, a, a two preamp and hybrid monoblocks. These are all handmade in Greece, and they, they have special types of transformers that are hand-wound in Greece. The platforms that we're using are pneumatic, so they actually suspend the, the amplifiers off the ground. They're made out of solid slate. Those come from Poland. And then all of our cables are made in the U.S., but they're a special type of silver with palladium coating. And then uh, we have we have special power conditioning in the back there, which is also made in, in, in Germany. It's a handmade power distributor. These speakers are retail for 70000 a pair, 69500 in a standard finish. This is a beautiful burl walnut finish. And uh, you can get any type of finish you like. You can get uh, automotive finishes. You can get wood type finishes, carbon finishes. And uh, this is one out of about 12 models they make. They start at about 11,000 and go up to a quarter million. These woofers here are, there's actually one behind the other. So they, they act in a push-pull manner. Um, so it's an isobaric design, which is ported out the bottom. And by using a smaller driver and using two of them, it acts like a bigger driver, but it's much faster and it can keep up with the mid-range. And also it keeps the, the front baffle narrow so that you get better dispersion. That's for the speakers. The electronics, they, they start at about 25,000 and they go up to about 125,000 for the biggest amplifiers they make, which are 500 pounds for the pair. These run in class A most of the time. So it's like the cleanest power you can get. But the real magic behind the Ypsilon gear is the, the hand-wound transformers that they do in-house. Uh, the subwoofer is 12,900 with the amplifier. It's an 18-inch woofer. This is different than a typical subwoofer because there's no basket and there's no magnet on the bottom. It's a free-floating design, so it doesn't have the, the drag of, of, the, of the basket and the magnet on it. And it's, it's actually called an infrasonic generator, so it's, it's not even really a subwoofer. <laughs> Uh, that's because it plays down to 15 hertz. So this is this is an integrated amplifier. It's uh, basically the monoblocks and the preamp in one chassis. Uh, what's unique about this is it's it's a hybrid uh, push-pull design, meaning it's it's using vacuum tubes for the input, and it's using MOSFET transistors for the output. And uh, there's no there's no volume control like a, a typical amplifier would have. Uh, or a preamp, let's say. Instead, it uses transformers for the volume. And so when you switch the volume up and down, it basically hits a different tap on the transformer. So they use relays to switch between the different taps on the transformer. By doing that, you get a much cleaner sound, and it's much more reliable as well. Um, also, this app operates in Class A up to the first 20 watts. After that, it's AB, okay, up to 110, and then it, it'll at peaks of a couple hundred watts. Um, and it's uh, 25,000. It weighs about 80 pounds. Handmade in Greece. All hand wired. You know, it's a work of art. It takes about eight weeks to build one of these. Next to that, we have a uh, handmade power distributor that's made in Germany. And you can see there's a lot of labor work that goes into this. What they do, instead of filtering it with, with you know, uh, cheap parts, like a like a power filter, this is this is using wraps, different types of wraps to get rid of RF and EMI, and also to shield. So by wrapping each wire multiple times with different types of proprietary materials, you get the you get the clean power without the um, without the restriction of a of a filter, because filters can can bog down the sound and they they restrict the power flow. So with this unit. You can plug in probably eight amplifiers into it and it won't restrict the power. And it gives you the cleanest sound with the lowest noise floor.
And there's three models. This is the middle one, called the acrylic. <laughs> and then there's the black one that's six outlets, and there's one that's made out of pure marble, which is eight outlets. And that's the flagship model. The price range is from six fifty nine hundred to sixteen five. This one is, I believe, ten thousand nine hundred. This is my cable line. It's called Stage Three Concepts. These are handmade in Portland, Oregon. We make entire cable by hand. So all the connectors are made by hand. This is a ceramic insert that's made. Ceramics is a good material to use for um, the, it's the best dielectric, so that the the pins don't cross talk to each other. All the all the pins inside are pure silver, and the housings are made out of an epoxy resin with a carbon fiber wrap on them. Uh, there's multiple layers of shielding and damping compounds in here. Um, we have cables starting at under a thousand, going up to almost twenty thousand, depending on you know what type of system you're going to put it in. This is a, a solid slate isolation platform. This is good for any type of electronics. You want to put amplifiers. Uh, you want to put anything that has a transformer in it is going to vibrate. What this does is it acts like an energy sink and it absorbs the vibration allowing the, the product to sound much cleaner and quieter. This is made out of solid slate, so it's very heavy. It weighs about 80 pounds. Um, and then there's a layer underneath that is a damping compound that absorbs the energy. So as the energy passes through the slate, it goes into the damping material and dissipates it. And then these are the footers that you use between the component and the platform. So you got slate touching slate, and then your components rest here. This is stainless steel with a slate insert, and then there's a polymer inside to absorb the energy, just like there is in the platform. These these sell for 300 a piece. The platform is 2,200, and it comes with a set of these spikes that screw into the bottom, and it comes with a cup to put the spike into so you don't scratch your 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 shelf or whatever you're putting it on. Yeah, if you're in the Denver area and you want to visit us for a private demo, just check out our website at aaudioimports.com.